Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Kit and Krista podcast. Let's go. I've lost track. What are we on? Episode five. 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 V. Five fingers, five episodes of the podcast. Yes. More to come though. More to come. Yeah. We're going to run out of fingers pretty soon. Toes. <laughs> 20 episodes. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe we won't run out of toes. Just kidding. Um, what are you t- why are you holding this up to your face? I don't know. I was going to read it, and then I, got, oh, no. I was like, no, I, already sh- I don't need to read this. We may have broken a podcasting cardinal rule right before this, which is we ate a pretty like hefty meal. <laughs> Mom and Yang. We're at your mom's house, and I, and nice. I just walk through the doors like, oh, I got, I got food. She and it's not, it's not just like food. some little thing. It's like a whole spread. I told her that we need to be like filled with food energy right. before we, do. we record. And so she made us breakfast, which was yeah. really nice. But, but then we had a pretty big bowls of like porridge. And other things. And other things. And now we're like... Oh boy! Should we lay down for a so second? So we'll see if we can remain upright. I also get I don't know, I don't know if other people who do podcasts end up like I do at the end of this. Melty brain. Yeah, you know, we do all of our content for the week, like one on, day. in one day. Yeah. I am so mentally exhausted by the end of that. Yeah, melty just, brain. That's just, what I call it, the melty brain syndrome. But it's not like physically tired. It's like I don't I don't need a nap or something. I just yeah. need to sit in, like in a quiet room, dark room, yeah. for a long time. This is where like we've all lost our ability to socialize for long oh, periods yeah. of time. Because right. of, well, I never had it. You never <laughs> to had be it to fair. begin with. <laughs> but your social stamina yeah. is now down. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. It's really hard. So then, like now, when you have to talk for more than like. 20 minutes it's like i'm really tired yeah 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 Yeah. Yeah. but buck up oh boy i'm here yes wake up yes the snap of a finger i'm gonna slap you no that's me wake you up don't do that cold water on the face (laughs) oh okay yeah um what are we what are we doing what are we doing here what's happening Uh, well first of all we have a kit and krista show yeah video coming up the one that's out or the one that's coming out the one that's coming out tomorrow well, by the time this podcast is out, it'll be out. Oh, that's right. Oops. <laughs> Days of the week are hard. Days, time, math, Days, they're all hard. Okay, yes, you're right. Yes. By the time that this podcast is out, that video will yeah. also be out. It's our Kirby right. gameplay video. We co-op. Played the, the co-op yeah. mode of the demo. It's our first gameplay video for right. the Kit and Krista show, which is right. very exciting for me. And then me. we're doing another one after this where uh, I'm gonna my, play. my face is going to be uh, under duress. <laughs> Because you're going, to be, you're going to be playing Elden Ring, and if you don't beat this boss that you've been stuck on for, for several, days, several days, I have to shave have to the shave. beard. I don't know why your face is, your, the fate of your face is resting in my I thought about hands, that too, yeah. But I like it. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I like this power. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to be like on the edge of your seat as I like try to yeah, do this? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, some days I have the beard, some days I don't. It's not hard for me to grow it. So it's like, it's a minor inconvenience. Maybe we should do something more to your face then. Well, you're going to be slapping me and throwing water in my face in this. So by the end of this, I'm just going to be like... You're going to be totally messed up. <laughs> what are you going to look like? Shell shock or something. I don't know. Your face is going to be destroyed by the end of this episode. <laughs> oh, my face. I need it. Um, but yes, gameplay videos. Right. Very exciting. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, I, I really didn't realize how much I missed mm. making yeah. gameplay videos. Right. This was really fun, obviously, too, but... You know, that used to be something that we did a lot. Like every week. That was week. our bread and butter. Well, the bread and yeah. butter. You're using that term now? <laughs> oh, boy. Just like activation. Well, what would you call it? I don't know. Everybody uses that term. Bread and butter? It's not low-hanging fruit. Stop it. I'm not saying We're that. We're talking about Animal Crossing, so that's a different oh. kind of fruit. <laughs> shake the tree. Um, shake the tree. <laughs> shake it. Um, but, yeah, I really missed it. It was so much fun to be able yeah. to, like, film and play games again, mm-hmm. which is, like, very obvious. Right. But yeah, so super excited about this Kirby video. Hope you guys yeah, watch it. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can look forward to Kit's face getting destroyed if I can't destroy this Not boss. destroy. Don't yeah, say that. I can't destroy that. this boss in Elden Ring. That's the pressure mean. is on, people. That's just me. Oh, my goodness. Um, what else? We have some new beautiful things coming to our wonderful... Patreon thing. I was wondering where you were going with this. Why are you blinking at me? So I don't know what you're going to say. You're like that meme with a blinking. I'm on eggshells this whole episode because I don't know what you're going to say. What crazy nonsense you might come at me. Just going to be like, blah! Yeah. Yeah. This is another like L that I get for not telling you what I'm going to say. And this is when I started to hate you. (laughs) This precise moment. Years ago. Oh no, that's not true. No, No, the patrons. Very serious business. Correct. We have been hinting at this. It is happening extremely soon. Yes. Yes. It is happening. Look forward to this. Uh, we will make a video yeah. that will explain we'll break it down. 
everything that is happening yes. on Patreon, we're so excited that the the short story or the tease or whatever you want to call it right now yeah. is that we are expanding the tiers. Greatly. Greatly. Oh, greatly. Well, right now we have one tier, so it's not hard to expand. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's not hard to greatly expand. We're going to have several tiers. Yes. Every tier is going to have a lot of stuff. If you are mm -hmm. if you want to stay in our base tier that we have now, there's going to be some extra stuff in there, too. Yeah, because it's you guys be have great. been with us this whole time yes. from the very beginning, So, and we love you guys so much, and we appreciate appreciate you guys so much. We're going to just add some freebies to this first it's called the first tier, and it is right. the first tier right. that you guys are in. But we are also super excited about the, the other tiers that we're going to launch because yeah. there's some really fun new benefits and things that we're really excited to do with you guys. And yeah, so look forward to that. It's going to be fun. It's right. going to be very fun. And of course, if you have not joined our Patreon family, we will leave the link here for you to join. And if you join now, you can look forward to all these new Get things ready. coming your way. Yeah, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Yes, exactly. Um, this week's show is really special. I am wearing the proper uniform. I'm wearing a Shovel Knight shirt. <laughs> you are not. We have the proper decor. Well, some people items. might be listening on audio. They have no clue what you're saying right now. <laughs> I'm teasing you. I'll right tell now. them. You're wearing an Animal Crossing I am. sweatshirt. I'm an Animal we Crossing. have a Tom Nook being backwards tugged by Rob. Yes. Very we have a titanic. bell bag on the table. There's a bell bag. We yeah. may be shaking some trees later this afternoon. Oh, really? May or may not. We okay. don't know. Depends on if Mama Yainless is like <laughs> wreak havoc in her garden. We'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, we are talking about the Animal Crossing New Horizons phenomenon. Right. For better or worse, this game came out at a very interesting, interesting, yeah. and um, just unique <laughs> time in everyone's lives. And As they said, unprecedented. Oh boy. Yes. More words that I dislike. But we're right at the two-year anniversary of this game coming out, so we yeah. figured let's go down memory lane and uh, yeah. think about that. And we worked on this launch in a in a very you know in in a time when it was very interesting. Yeah. And we did a lot of lead up to this launch, and um, it'd be great to take a look back. I mm -hmm. think everyone has very special memories, and and I'm sure went through some stuff yeah. <laughs> during this launch. So so yeah, and then of course we have some. Uh, updates for you on our eShop swap. Oh, do we ever. Which we're very excited to share. Hopefully you guys were playing along yeah. with us. I think we tweeted out over the weekend that we were going to be yeah. like digging into these games. I definitely saw some comments. Yes, yeah. me too. And also the producer. Oh um, my gosh. Monsters Expedition. That was amazing. That was an amazing moment. Yeah. So congrats to you because the game is great. Spoiler alert. I loved it. Um, we'll <laughs> you want to talk about walking on eggshells. The producer of the game is just <laughs> listening in on your... Impressions here. <laughs> um, no, just kidding. No, all good things. All good yeah. things. Um, and uh, we're going to be talking about some of the other games we're playing. We have some news, news, news. And then your questions. All your as great questions. As usual. Per we got usual, yes. Amazing questions. So many questions from all of our lovely patrons. And we'll be answering them at the end of this episode. Yeah. All right. All right. That's the show today. We're, we're done? No. I can go home? No. Oh, no. Okay. You can't have more porridge. More food downstairs? No. Oh, gosh. You cannot. Get it. I gotta get earn going. it. Okay. I get, get it. Get going. Animal Crossing phenomenon. Got it. Get got it. it. Into it. All right. Well, maybe we could start. I just want, maybe we can both talk about kind of, you know, when we were leading up to this game, kind of where we were with the Animal Crossing series individually. Like, you know, yeah. what's our history? Because mm -hmm. you have a crazy history with it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I answered a question last week where I talked a little bit about my history with Animal Crossing. Obviously, it's a franchise that I absolutely love, and I have loved this franchise since, you know, the first yeah. the first game um, before I even worked at Nintendo. And I have worked on, since I've been at Nintendo, every single Animal Crossing launch. And it's been, like, one of my favorite... GameCube? No, that was before I was at Nintendo. You don't, you're not making sense. Okay. Since I've been at Nintendo... All right. The subsequent So, so, so the first one was DS? No. Uh, um, it was. Hold on. Oh no. It was yeah. It was the DS version. So new. Leaf. The lies are becoming apparent. New now. leaf, right? And then and then it was city, the story you've city made folk. up in your head is just crumbling. Listen. I'm listening. New leaf, city folk. Yeah. And then of course we had like Amiibo Festival, like some of the spin off. Oh right, ones. right, right. And then of course many, 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 many years went by. Yeah. Many summoning circles were made. Yeah. And then it was. New Horizons. Right. So, yeah. Correct. So, except for the GameCube one, I, I worked on all of the other ones. And it was, like, so much fun to, you know, be able to work on a series that I personally just had so much passion for and I really loved. And, you know, we 
were really like close with the development team, um, especially with uh, Miss Kiyogoku, yeah. who's like one of my inspirational, like uh, I look up to her so right. much. And so just being able to like do all of that has been really incredible. Yeah. Um, but these games are, as you guys know, like kind of like far in between, right? We don't, Nintendo does yeah. not launch Animal Crossing no, games like no rush every year. It's not like Animal a Mario Crossing game, game or yeah. something like that. Cause it's just so much like the you gotta, localization. You gotta model these toilets. All right. There is like 25 toilets to model. <laughs> those every, take time. If you're going to get those perfect. Every eight years, we got to model like yeah. another 24 <laughs> toilets. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I, I feel like I feel like my history with Animal Crossing has been long, both as like a fan, yeah. and as a person that yeah. you know worked on all of the marketing for these games. And now, there's been a lot of crazy things that happened. I don't think I know this. I don't think I've ever asked you this. Did you play the GameCube one or did you start playing when you started No, I working? played the GameCube okay. one. I loved the yeah, GameCube I one. Thought so I much. loved it a lot. Um, that was like my obviously my like entry into the obsession of yeah. Animal Crossing. Yeah, with yeah. many people, I'm sure. Right. Same, same thing, right. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, what about you? Um, I've been a little bit different. So I had played all of them. I don't think I ever got into them to the extent that you or a lot of other people did. Mm -hmm. I tended to find that I would like hit a wall around maybe, I don't know, like 50 hours, which is like nothing compared to, you know, you or others. Because yeah. I, I, I kind of reached a point where they felt, they started to feel a little bit tedious, I felt. And it's mm -hmm. like, I have this issue with a lot of games where when it starts to feel kind of like real life busy work, I tend to check yeah. out. This is you why don't like overcooked. Overcooked is a game exactly. Yeah. It's like this is stressful in a real life way that yeah. I, I don't know is I feel necessarily like you always fun. Say like your life already is filled with like multitasking. <laughs> yeah. and so if you have right. to do it in a game, it's not fun for you. Yeah, I want to do something it. that feels a little bit different. different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I definitely admired the series, but I would not put myself in the camp of like a mega fan yeah. like yourself or, or, or so many other people. Yeah. But, um, you know, as we'll, we'll find out, that kind of flipped with mm -hmm. uh, New Horizons. With the New Horizons, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think the last Animal Crossing game that I was just completely just lost in was definitely New Leaf. Um, I, I definitely prefer Animal Crossing games on handheld. Obviously, it just makes so much sense for a game like yeah. that where you are, like, checking in throughout the day once you kind of get going and then you're playing it for like a really long period of time. You know, people have played, I think, some of their Animal Crossing games for like years and years right, and years. Right. And they just check in and do the... Yeah. Also, uh, the, you know, things, you're you know? playing for a long time, but sometimes you're playing that in short bursts. Exactly. Which is like, you That's don't you don't necessarily perfect. want to turn on the TV, turn yeah. on the console, yeah. sit down. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, that was a little bit challenging with, you know, the original game on GameCube and then the Wii. Is it the Wii U version? Uh, City Folk was what? Wii. That's Wii. Wii. Yeah. That's right. So I can't... I can't even think back no. this far. But yeah, that's the, the only issue with like home console Animal yeah. Crossing games for me. But when New Horizons came out, I was like, well, perfect. Now you can do both, obviously. Yeah. And it was like done in a way where I think people like you who are not super, super fans and didn't really want to do all the busy work stuff, like it kind of got you back into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wii U didn't really have a proper... Animal Crossing. It mm -hmm. had Amiibo, Amiibo Festival. Festival. Yeah, it was the only and one. And then remember there was that kind of strange app that was released. It was like, oh, meet the villagers. Oh, yeah. And I always wondered, like, what is the point what of this? That? I think it was just what like, don't we... forget about yeah. Animal Crossing, what are we but we're going not making here? a game right now. For that Animal was Crossing. a really interesting time from New Leaf to New Horizons where it did feel a little shaky at yeah, times. Yeah, like, because are we going to continue this franchise? Or like, like what's got, the deal? Amiibo Festival is like, okay, this is... A bit of a departure, mm -hmm. and then you know, Happy Home was also. Oh, that's right. Yeah, a de I definitely did not feel like that was for me. Yeah, um, that's not really what I was going for for the series. So it definitely was not like a foregone conclusion that like, oh, the next game is just going to be the biggest game ever at all. Right, right. You just and also there was such a long silence. Right, like you didn't hear peep out of them. Yeah, for like. <laughs> Eight years. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're like, hello? Are yeah, you, yeah. like, still there? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was always, like, and every every time we get, like, briefed, it's like, is there yeah. one coming or what? And in the you meantime, know? you know, Mr. Nogami, who was the producer, you know, he was on Splatoon. Yeah. And that got super huge. Right. Um, and they were, like, pumping out, like, DLC and updates. Were, yeah, and it was, like, were, it was, like, really fast moving. Right, right, which, right. Which is very different than the development for Animal Crossing, yeah. which is, like, super slow. Yeah. Right. When so. was the first time you met Ms. Kyogoku? I met her, it must have been 
for New Leaf. Oh. You were there. Right? The first time I met her was when we did the interview. Um, yeah. The very... Um, I had been following her right. career for a while before that. And uh, we, we did do some stuff... Like, we did, like, a developer asks. Like yeah. We used to do those Owada asks. Yeah, yeah. So we did do something with Miss Kyo Goku for that. So I didn't, uh, hadn't met her in person, but yeah. I had, like, worked on a few projects. And I've, you know, have had a chance to at least read some of her thoughts right. behind the series. And it was just so amazing because she was, at the time, like, really one of the only female developers yeah. at, at Nintendo that was given a voice right, and right. like it was just so admirable that she was like you know super amazing and right, smart right. And, and focused on doing doing we're, her we're thing we're always referencing GD, gdc talk she gave a great gdc talk which I, did, don't, I don't know yeah. if that one's online like the others but if you can that find that that one's before the online really, <laughs> oh is it that old i think it's old oh, yeah no. <laughs> i know before the online before day. the internet <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, it, but yeah, it's it is. She she also did a really wonderful GDC talk. Yeah, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so it was it was amazing that when I finally got to meet her in person, she actually um, came on Nintendo Minute early, right. early, early. She was our first her within the and first year. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Iguchi, Iguchi. Yeah. who was the producer on New Leaf. Yeah, they were the first developer guests we ever had on Nintendo Minute. Right. Which just speaks volumes to their, <laughs> their ability to trust us. Um, try new things. <laughs> try new things. Yeah. I mean, it's really yeah, incredible yeah, how yeah. that even happened. You right, know? right. Um, but yeah, I continue to be such just such a huge fan of hers. You know, it, it is really tough at times in this industry when you're like a woman. <laughs> so like having her to like look up to and mm -hmm. she's the thing I love about her the most is she never really makes like she's not on like some soapbox going like I'm a woman in the industry like I'm different or whatever like that you know she's always just very focused on her work she's focused on putting like the best experience forward for fans of the game and she's just like confident in herself you know yeah. she just lets her I think her work and her actions like speak for her and I think that's extremely admirable and inspirational right. you right. know and just like stay confident and stay focused and do what you're setting out to do like that is something that um that I've really looked up to and uh you can tell that she's you know carried that through with all the amazing games that she's made so, yeah, yeah yeah so I really I really love that about her hmm. Well, let's let's look at um, New Horizons here. Yeah. So, so I don't know if this was your impression. My impression was, you know, it was a long time coming, but then it felt really fast once we really got going with, mm -hmm. you know, marketing the game and, and it coming out. Yeah. Um, you know, there was that initial announcement, and then there was a little bit of silence, and then you know, you and I had gone to Japan to do Nintendo Live, which is a big event that Nintendo yep. does in Japan. They had a huge thing for. They had Animal a huge Crossing. area for Animal Crossing that was not replicated in the U.S. So you know, in the U.S., it was just kind of more more waiting. Yeah. And then I remember we had the Animal Crossing Direct, which mm -hmm. was I think in February, about yep. a month before the game came out, and that was just the huge info dump. And it like was. Just chock full of the new right, things that right. were part of the game. And then, you know, a month later, the game came out. So it was like, wow. You know, sometimes you have some games have these protracted, like, yeah. drip feeds of information. But mm -hmm. this was like... And all the games are like that sometimes. E extremely, you know, backloaded to, like, oh, this game's coming out in a month. When are we going to find out? And then, boom, it's like, all right, now we know almost Which is really interesting because I would argue that this is one of the games where there's, like, a million so little details, yeah, right? Yeah. That you could have... Waited and, and sort of right. slowly dripped out to fans. Right, right, um, right. But instead, it was just like this whirlwind yeah. of stuff. And of course, at the same time, you know, things in the world was changing very quickly. Right, and right, it was right. becoming a very, um, I don't know, it was just like a very like scary time for yeah. a lot of us. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. You know, it was like very uncertain. Yeah. And But we were still like really focused on like, we have to launch this game, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, the last... We went to the uh, ill fate. Well, I don't know if it's ill fate. The PAX East, <laughs> right before you know the pandemic, which had a big Animal shutdown. Crossing huge presence. presence. Yeah. That booth was amazing. Yeah, we, what a way to yeah. what, what a way to go, yeah. go out. You know? That was so cool. <laughs> um, and we did a, a live show for that. Mm -hmm. But then shortly after, you know, 
everything shut down. We started yeah. working from home, and obviously there were you know some adjustments in what we were doing with the game. And yeah, it was a very strange time because like all right, we're mm -hmm. launching this major, major, major game, but at the same time, you know, everybody had you know struggles or fears or challenges that yeah. were just weighing on them. Right. So it was very surreal almost to yeah. be juggling these two like so it's different things in your life things yeah, yeah. And it was like we we certainly wanted to still do everything we could right. to market the game to the best of our abilities yeah. given the challenges at the time mm -hmm. you know we were obviously limited in a lot of ways but you know what i mean i think we <laughs> it actually didn't matter at all because <laughs> whether we marketed the game yeah. or not because it became a huge phenomenon yeah. you know i had i remember one day and this was at the time where like every day there was some new news about it new it, wrinkle. it just felt like things were getting worse like significantly daily yeah and that was something that really weighed on me a lot um, yeah. but it was you know getting close to the game coming out and and there was that whole debate of like oh can game stops stay open can all these stores stay oh, open yeah. and i was like oh my gosh is this game even going to be able to be sold come out yeah like <laughs> is there like, like a physical... oh my gosh we're so close we just yeah. gotta get this March thing into 20th, when the yeah. game came out was like a pivotal time. March 20th, yeah. 2020 was, <laughs> was like, a bad time. that was, the, that was literally the week when things yeah. were like, yeah, you are locking yeah. down. It like was, yeah. unbelievably right. surreal, I think. Yeah. 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 But I think all of us were so glad that the game did come out right. Right. <laughs> and it happened. And even if you couldn't get to a GameStop, good thing we had the eShop because yeah. we could, right. everyone downloaded the, you know, right, could get right. the game some way. Yeah. Although I think Nintendo Switch was hard to find at the time a little bit. Well, so. still is. <laughs> yeah. And it still is. Yeah. Um, so there was a lot of like, right. it kind of reminded me of the old Wii days where they yeah. were like, oh, I need a Switch to play Animal Crossing, right. but it's so hard to get a Switch. a hot tip on how to yeah, find a Switch. Yeah, I get it. And right. then like all, all your friends that yeah. you hadn't talked to for like years come out of the woodwork and like, hey, can you buy, buy me a Switch? Yeah, or like, yeah. like, who are you? <laughs> so the game, you know, out of the gate immediately, obviously there was a, I mean, we knew leading up to it, there was a lot of demand for this game. And it felt like, oh, you know, yeah. this could, you know, as far as, you know, we've done with other Animal Crossing games, this has a lot of potential. And right. we, we were clearly reaching those people. When, when did you find it kind of get a feeling like, oh, this is kind of breaking out in a big, really mainstream way? I think it's when just like really you started getting those like emails or chat messages from people at work that's like oh did you see that so and so yeah, was playing with it yeah. did you see that so and so and that it wasn't like your typical like cast of characters in right. terms of like who is playing this game like sure there's there's celebrities that are more of like a game have more of yeah, a gaming or, or background who, you know, who typically are in touch with nintendo frequently right but yeah. you just saw some i think danny trejo was the one that i was like <laughs> Yeah. The heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so right. I'd forgotten that right? one. Right? <laughs> like, there were so many of those moments yeah, where you kind of, yeah, yeah. you laughed, and you were like, your reaction was like, what is happening? What's going on right now? <laughs> and then also like, this is freaking awesome. Yeah, like, this yeah. is amazing. Like, there, this game is starting to become a phenomenon. Yeah. Like, a cultural phenomenon. Right. It definitely... I think the last time I had seen anything like that was Pokemon Go. Yes. Yeah. Which, you know... This was obviously very different because right. it was happening. You know, Pokemon Go was people out in the streets and mm -hmm. gathering, and this was the complete opposite of that because well, we you, liter you literally you literally couldn't. <laughs> it's amazing how many of these like gaming cultural phenomenons, like at the highest level, Nintendo is always associ kind of associated, associated with, with those it. in yeah. ways that like Wii, obviously the you know bowling thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah Wii Sports was mm -hmm. was maybe the the one before Pokemon Go. It's like yeah. and it's like PlayStation and Xbox have big success. Mm -hmm. They don't seem to have moments. Like that, that kind of transcends the. It's really interesting to look at. Yeah, like also like when when my mom, yeah, calls me when your mom calls you. The, the I, one it is for my I mom. I read in the newspaper. I, yes, <laughs> I found. Let me mail you this newspaper clipping let me that I saw. Send you the newspaper yeah. clipping. It's always like <laughs> it's like a Chinese newspaper clipping. Yeah. It's like okay, we've really made it. Right. Mom has seen. Mom, mom has seen yeah. what's happening, and when mom knows, then you yeah. know that you've yeah. made it. You know. Yeah. yeah. And then we started to see, you know, again, like people kind of making up for the things they would have done in their normal life yeah, in the you game. Yeah, couldn't do it at that time. Like, you know, a few months after the game came out, like, people would be graduating. Yeah. Well, we can't do it. We're doing a graduation in Animal Crossing, yeah. which was so cool and so creative to see. Yeah, that there was like so many cool examples of that. The graduation was definitely that. And I, I just felt so bad for people that were yeah, like, missing out on right. this pivotal moment in their lives. And then I felt really good that, you know... Nintendo made this game. There's 
someone that has made a sort of this platform almost for yeah. someone to at least have a little percentage of that experience. And, it, you know, it's not obviously the same as like a real graduation, yeah. but what a creative way to still like get together with and, and celebrate yeah. a big moment yeah. in your life. Um, so that was that was really cool to see. And I had um, a birthday shortly, like a week after the game came out. It was my birthday. I, I hope you're getting ready for my birthday. I am by getting the way. ready for your birthday. Don't um, you worry. <laughs> and and again, it was the same situation where it's like, all right, I can do nothing. That's a huge bummer. Kind of a bummer. I remember that day, like the weather was so dreary and it was just yeah. like depressing. And I had, my, yeah. but I had my birthday at Animal Crossing. It was like the sweetest, like yeah, all your animal friends. It like, was like it was just strange, like a really like meaningful part yeah. of my birthday because yeah. I was like oh this is all I've got <laughs> <laughs> I think we there was like some visits on your island yeah, that day yeah. and your animal friends like you have a little right. party it does it does kind of brighten your day in those moments when, I mean I, everybody was just sort of in like a dark place I yeah. feel like um that was really cool to see I love the fashion I'm like a I did not see all you were you were rattling these off I was yeah. like I didn't know that happened I was following that so closely like and, and you were talking about how creative like that I mean as like a fashion designer to do a custom design of your yeah. entire spring collection and then have like a runway show right. in Animal Crossing. Like, wow. Like who who could have predicted that, you know? <laughs> and some major just like Mark Jacobs did their whole like animal their whole, you know, I think it was like fall spring fashion week was like fall fashion in Animal Crossing. Yeah. They were launching these designs and, and people could like, you know, get them for their characters. And so I'm like, wow, that's amazing, you know, to be able to use the game in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, then, you know, the game came to be really important for us because yeah. we were kind of at an obstacle of like, well, how do we keep doing Nintendo Minute? Because, yeah. you know, the concept is two people on a couch. Playing games. What are we going to do? Yeah, we were, we were struggling actually because... Mentally, we were not doing great, on, like everybody right. else. I think we were just like looking for, you know, like small things that could brighten our own days. And like Nintendo Minute was always that for us. But I think like we were like kind of like getting, I was at least getting a little nervous. Like when can we, yeah. like as time like ticked, the months like ticked by and there was really no end in sight. Right, right. Like, hmm, like are we done like do we not to, can we not do this like ever again like oh but my I god think, but i think we were you know really inspired by like even like the very mainstream like late night tv was just doing like really like low quality stuff on zoom it was like and and there was such yeah. an appetite for anything at Any that point content, yeah you know obviously we had you know we were not like crazy about it like the the quality you know uh, you yeah know, of the you know the audio the video needs to be crisp it was like you know it's more about the vibe the feeling yeah so it's like oh no maybe we could do something kind of with the tools that we just have at our disposal yeah. and, and you know kind of reimagine the show that way yeah and we just needed a really a place to to do it and, yeah. and that was our first step back into it and and right. After Animal Crossing, we ended up doing tons of shows via Zoom. <laughs> and, yeah. And, I mean, we didn't for, know for years. Well over like, a year. For like a year. Yeah, um, yeah. But Animal Crossing really gave us that like platform to do it. And those are some of my favorite episodes that we've ever done. Yeah. And um, it was it's such an amazing feeling. It was like, I think we can recreate our studio. studio in Animal I Crossing. I did it. That was... I drew that wallpaper I know. by hand. We both have that in our Animal Crossing I know. houses. <laughs> that is... I will always treasure that. I know. <laughs> that so room, that my room house. is perfect. I made like yeah. a gold YouTube play button. Right. <laughs> and I made like the wallpaper. <laughs> I should share that idea, that custom design. Yeah. I did I did make that myself. Right. And yeah, we basically recreated that in both our on both our islands and we would like literally go into the studio, which right. is like go to each other's yeah. islands and like shoot this show, you know? Yeah. yeah. And some of them were um more straightforward, like talk showy type things and then we ended up finding and discovering through making Nintendo Minute episodes in Animal Crossing like all the crazy stuff that you could do yeah. in Animal Crossing like there's no limit to right it. we did like we we made like little short tv shows yeah, we made that movies. was really cool yeah we um, did um like the triathlon yeah we came up with really <laughs> some anything you can imagine stuff. in that game yeah. we did it we did vlogs in there right right and yeah, and then we then of course we we saw so many other people like Gary Weta, who I love so much. Oh my god! He did yeah. um, Animal Talking. Right. He's still doing it now, I yeah, think. Yeah. But um, it is just like so cool to see all of these other people use it in these creative ways. You know. Right, right. And then you know a little bit later, um, you know, once we were doing 
more videos beyond just Animal Crossing, people would ask us like, oh, you should do something, you know, like you were doing in Animal Crossing with, you know, game X, Y, or Z. And it was like, it's really not the same no, thing. There's yeah. really nothing else that kind of simulates that real life. Real life, yeah. It was like, oh, you should do Metopia because it's got me. And it's like, well, you need more than that. It's, yeah. It's, you need that customization right. and like the... Openness The to openness, it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we want to know your Animal Crossing memories because I think that was just, again, like as a world collective, a very challenging time yeah, for yeah. all of us. And of course, we're hopefully in a better place now. But um, I think that game really is something that's going to like remain in not just video game history, but just like yeah. a moment in Put it in, in the history. Smithsonian. <laughs> Yeah, a moment in time yeah. that like we all collectively as again a world population like we endured yeah. this thing and like we all played animal crossing we were like trapped in our houses right. playing animal crossing like that that is something that we all share which is kind of weird yeah you know? yeah there is something i think about a bit which is you know we talk about how it's so long in between each installment yeah if i was on the animal crossing team that would be really tricky be like well what is you know, whatever the next Animal What's Crossing next? game, what would I do to to try and like top? Because you're always trying to do better, bigger. How oh, do you do that man. for this game that was so big and such a phenomenon? Yeah. I I don't. I would not want to be in their the position. The pressure is yeah. really. I mean, I hope they don't, they're not putting too much pressure on themselves. Right. But that is that is something that that bar is just set at a, an insane level, yeah. and not even by your own making. It's the time, the place, right, right. You know the 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 circumstance or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know those those things you cannot control. You can control the quality of the game, obviously, but those things you see. Yeah, and control. sometimes you see. You know when Nintendo puts out its financial announcements, it's like, well, here's the list of the best selling games, yeah. and, and it's like Animal Crossing is just like espe especially in Japan. Up. Like it has some crazy, like mm -hmm. you know, one of the best selling games ever in history. Yeah, in Japan, it's just like. Wow. Yeah. This was this was a moment. Yeah. It was a moment. Very hard to ever replicate. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see how many toilets are in <gasps> That's how you top it. In Animal Crossing. Double the toilets. For Switch 4K yeah. in 20 how do you do math now? 2030? <laughs> There you go, 2030. I did, um, when the DLC came out, there was the guy who had the, the bathroom assignment that I happily took on. Oh, you had a lot of toilets. I was like, please. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> there was like, someone made like, um, you know that they have the, the bidet toilets yeah. that automatically the lid opens up? Someone made like an aisle way, so you like walk down the aisle and then yeah. the toilets were all open up in like this beautiful symphony. Right. It's like, that's like, pretty good. I, I That's like slick. This. I like it. It's very good. Yeah. Yes. I have been playing, I really like that new, um, the DLC that came, the latest, the right, last DLC, right. whatever it was, the last yeah. DLC. Because that, um, I was never super into Happy Home Designer, but mm. this one is like really fun and I super got into it. Yeah. I think a lot of people are still building in that. So. Yeah. 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 I mean, our play styles were, were pretty like, I mean, they were pretty similar in the beginning. Like, we all did the thing where we, like, built our islands. Yeah. You and I have some watershed moments around weed and, weeds and flowers. Yeah, where I'm right and you're wrong. Well, I would not oh. really agree with that. Maybe let you guys decide. Come on. Weeds or flowers. Um, but, yeah, I think after a while we had, like, this really nice little routine going you know and it's like you go on your island you like dig up your fossils you send a letter yeah. you know it was like very comforting i to, played that game literally every day for well over a year yeah same here yeah. same here yeah i think we we all did we all sort of like stuck with it for mm -hmm. a, a pretty it was a pretty big pretty big group of us too yeah um we were all like still go onto our islands there was like a lot of like he just want to like come onto the island, which is like sit on the phone and hang out. Yeah, because <laughs> we're like bored, you right, know. Right, right. <laughs> like you just hang out. And, like, then they're like, oh, someone would like um, text you, like, oh, there's a a meteor shower. Yeah. On the island, come hang out, and then like, I think someone came to the someone one of our coworkers um, came onto the island. He like fell asleep or something in real life. In real life. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> and then he woke up like an hour later, and he's like, "Where did everybody go?" And he's like, <laughs> "Come on!" <laughs> <laughs> but like, he was just doing these like real life yeah, things, yeah. you know, on your island, which is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I haven't gone back to it for a little while, but yeah, the anniversary would be a good time. We'll still be waiting. Go take a look. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Let us know if you guys are still playing, or we'll go back. How is your island? Yeah. Hopefully, your animals didn't leave. Oh. <laughs> it's really sad when they leave. The worst. <laughs> okay, but that's Animal Crossing. Yes. My goodness, what wow. a what a moment in time that was, and um, so much fun to be able to work on the series for yeah. so long. And uh, now I get to enjoy as a fan. Mm -hmm. I'd probably be really old by the time the next one comes out. <laughs> be looking like old Tortimer here. Ah, okay. Withered, With, cane. withered. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like hey, grizzled. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about old man noises yeah. that you were making. Oh, you can be okay. Tortimer and I'll be uh, Cranky Kong. <laughs> <laughs> dry bones. Yeah. Dusty old dry All right. bones. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. Moving on to our Never a Minute segment, which is part, part two of two. two. Yes. Of two of eShop Swap. Good. Oh my goodness, eShop Swap. So much fun. So we played these games. The games are, for you chose for me... One, One gun, gun guy. guy. I always have to say One it like that. Gun guy. And I, you chose for me a monsters <laughs> expedition. Right. Yes. So we played these games thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Now we thought more than just like talking about our experience. We thought it'd be fun to do a little rating. Do a little rating on yeah. a number of criteria. So we're each going to rate these games from one to five mm -hmm. on the following. Five being the best. Yes. Y yes. Very important five distinction. Is good. Higher, better. <laughs> did did we like it? The very basic. Yeah. Very basic. Criteria. Did we like it? Does it match our personal gaming tastes, which mm -hmm. by now we better know, or else? This is like two truths and a lie, where it's again yeah. like friendship defining <laughs> moment. Either you, I think it's even more important. Do you know my gaming taste? Like oh, if you don't, that is like this is over. And then, is it a true hidden gem? Because right. this is this is again what I love so much about this is like going deep, that deeply into dive the e into the eShop, and it's e like what is something I'd never even heard mm -hmm. of? So. We're gonna we're gonna rate these from one to five. I will let yes. you go first on these. Okay, so I will rate Monsters Expedition. The first category is did I like the game? Yeah. I give it a four. Okay. Out of five, yeah. which is pretty high. Yeah. I definitely like the game. It is, um, you know, I I loved the sort of the open world. I'm, I'm we're all into these open world yeah. games right now. So I'll tell you this. I got this game too because I thought it looked interesting. Did you play it? Yeah. Okay. I did. Yeah. I I think it has like a very similar like. This is a weird comparison, but it has like an Elden Ring open world vibe where it doesn't tell you anything. Right. There literally is no instruction at all. Yeah. You just go into the game, you're this like cute little monster with a backpack, and that's it. Yeah. You just like have to like push things over and like figure it out for yourself. Yeah. There's no instruction. Um, the game is very charming. You know, it it's, uh, has a very cute, like you said, a cute art style. Yeah. It's very relaxing. Um, there's really no like, there's nothing like super complicated about it. Is the the puzzle mechanic, at least for the parts that I played, was like very easy to grasp. You know, like okay, this is what I have to do to go from island to island. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy for me to understand the concept. And then there's also like a little bit of something mysterious as well because yeah. you kind of encounter these um, little pedestals that have like just like random objects from like the human world it seems like and they're they're just kind of like littered all over these islands but they don't right. explain to you why it's there and why it's significant to the monster mm. side of you or the monster um you see like a bowl of cereal or like oh. like i don't know like a random like uh, i don't know it was just like very strange like a roll of film like yeah some some strange like human items and it has a little description like in the human world this discarded item used to be for taking photos or right, whatever. Right, right, right. Um, and so, yeah, you don't know what's going on and you're just kind of like discovering it as you go. But, um, but yeah, overall, I think the game was is super cute and super There, there was one mechanic that I liked, which is you can <clears throat> kind of undo your last move. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or even the game is reset kind of st structured by these yeah. little islands. You can just reset the whole line. I, li I like that. That mm -hmm. made it very frustration-free. Yeah, some of the puzzles are like a little challenging. Yeah. Um, and you have to, you do have to do the reset a couple of times to like kind of, rejigger the way that you've like mm -hmm. push the trees over yeah. the other mechanic i really like is if you put two logs together it becomes like a little raft it like oh, automatically yeah. like right stitches together and then it introduces a new mechanic where, where you could like push off these rocks and like 
journey further than... No, oh, I didn't get to that part. Yeah, so like it, it does slowly start to introduce more gameplay mechanics as you go along, but in a way where it's very much you discovering it versus them telling you, yeah. it, which I really yeah, liked. Yeah. So four out of five for the cool. first category. Second one is gaming taste. Yeah. Five out of five, I think, for sure. Nailed it. Nailed it. The cozy guy was, <laughs> was in the blanket. I had the tea. Oh, perfect. I had the candle. Oh, good. The soy candle. Perfect. Relaxed. Wow. You know, I was playing it over the weekend. Yeah. So I was like, I had like kind of a hard week last week. I had like a lot going on. So I was like, oh, I just need to like relax. I got yeah. the dog like cuddled next to me. And yeah, it was really nice. Great, and great. again, it was, it's very like low key in terms of. It's not asking you to do a lot. Yeah, You're just yeah. kind of like milling around in this game, which I really liked. Yeah, yeah. And then what was the last one? Is it a true hidden gem? Well, I never heard of it, but it does have a lot of awards. I did like find that as I, was, as I was looking at it later on. I was like, oh, this game won a lot of awards. Yeah. Why hadn't I heard but of I it? But I haven't heard of it. Right, But right. somebody has heard of it because right. someone gave them all the awards. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> this game is out on a lot. Of, both of these are out on numerous, um, numerous platforms. platforms yeah. But um, yeah. yeah. But um. It's certainly not like top shelf in the eShop or something like no, that. No, 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 no. Or like, yeah, yeah. this is the first time I've heard of it. Right, so right, right. So for me, I guess it's a, it's a hidden gem. But since it won so many awards, I guess maybe like a four out of five? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if anybody else has heard of it prior to this. Well, the game's producer is on the well, line. He's heard of it, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I hope you've heard of it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. I loved it. Good choice. Oh, good. Good. Good job. That's All an right. a, a average for you, right? A minus. Well, is it an A or an A minus? That's well, a big is difference. Well, There's a lot of four out of fives here. Oh. Well, that's like a B. Oh. Jeez. Well, I wanted to give you an A minus. <laughs> the extra credit for the personal right. gaming preference? Let's do it. All right. Uh, one gun guy. Again, yes. I have to keep saying it that way. Yes. Um, so you kind of mentioned this last week. This is an interesting game. It's a side-scrolling game where it's one big level, level right? yeah. which is unique. Um, it's definitely in the Mega Man mold. Mm -hmm. You can shoot. You know, the jumping feels very tight. Feels mm -hmm. a lot like Mega Man. Kind of the, you know, the way that the level is positioned feels quite a bit like Mega Man. Yep. So I think I see what you were going with there. Okay. The game also, there was one other thing that was really re reminiscent of Mega Man where the kind of game icon shows this very like burly, like, yeah, like hardcore looking guy. guy. But then like the little pixel <laughs> version Which is so is, like, not what it looks in the is game. It's real cute. Yeah. I was but like, it's is like this, that. This yeah. is an homage to the uh, original Mega Man box arts. I was going to say like with the lady like hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I... I got through pretty much all of this game. One thing I learned really? is you maybe I, maybe I just didn't see it. I don't think there's a way to save the game. So I did unfortunately oh. have a moment where I backed out of the game to do something else, and I came back as like, oh, I'm back at the beginning. <gasps> yeah, oh, maybe that's the one long level thing. Like so I must have, I might take. have I might have been very close to the end. Um, but that was that was I was like, oh gosh, I wish they had had um, some sort of a, some sort of a, yeah. right right. I th that always makes me nervous the first time I play games. Like, how do I save? You say you're it, you're saying it, you're auto saving. Yeah. I don't believe you. Don't turn you. the console on when the I need item to see that icon like this. Yeah, is that what it means? I need like, to see the icon yeah. going very clearly. Yes. Um, anyway, but yeah, as you go, you kind of pick up these power ups that give yes. you these new abilities. Like, you can shoot a spread shot, or you can like hover, um, and those are all very cool. And again, the play the game plays really well. It is definitely like a smaller scope game. And yeah. like one example of that is like there is one piece of music that plays through the whole the thing. whole thing. Okay. And I didn't I didn't mind it, but I was like, wow, there's a lot of this song coming <laughs> at me here. Dale North, get on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but again, I think the game was like I think it was on sale. It was like four dollars. So, so it's like all right. Well, I it was very reasonably priced. Yeah, I can't really knock <laughs> it. Do I get that. a five for so, that? I think I'm gonna give this game. I'll give it a three and a half. I'm gonna I'm gonna go oh, in between. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, with the point. I'm, going, I'm going in between. If I've okay. been if I've been able to save the game, or if I knew how to do it, maybe that, that would be a bad look for me. If it's like you can totally save the game. Yeah. Dummy. This is where the producer of One Gun Guy <laughs> yeah. comes out and be like, "Look, buddy." Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> so it's a is it your problem? So, but but yeah, I mean, it's definitely a good throwback to like I I, I could definitely have imagined like oh this is an NES game that I would have played right back in the day okay um, gaming taste I'll give you a five there Yay, it's definitely I did you, you know it. I like Mega Man that was a good catch by you yes to know that this was like Mega Man so okay full marks there and I actually give you a 
full five on is it a hidden gem? Because again, after the fact, yeah. I was like, I want to read up on this game. I could not find a single review for There's this There's nothing. Game. I found like maybe one or two YouTube videos, yeah. but that was kind of it. But why though? I don't know. Um, so This game seems like it'd be a fun little quick thing I if you like that style of game. I don't know how you found this game, first of all. Again, so burrowing yeah. into that eShop. Yeah, again, sometimes you got to do the work yourself of, you know, if, if yeah. there's no reviews. Let us or no do the info. work for you. Please just, play these games. Just give a game a shot. If it looks cool. If it looks yeah, cool and it's $4.99. Don't, don't worry <laughs> about it shot. if there's nothing about it online. Maybe you'll like it. That's part of the fun. That's that why, that's why fun. I love doing this. Yes. We want to hear it, though, if you guys tried these games and what you thought yeah. of it. And also, if you have hidden gems for Please us to tell try. us. Please yeah. tell us. I'm always looking yeah, for Yeah, I this. saw some good ones in the replies. Yes, yes. But keep, keep telling us because we want to play them. Yes. I love eShop Swap. I think we should expand this to more consoles. Yeah. So like we can look at like the Xbox. Well, these games are on X. This game. That's true. Xbox, that's true. So but I'm saying like if we're ne yes. next time when we do this, it right. doesn't have to be. We don't. Of we course. you and I don't have to look just on the eShop. We right. can now look at like the PlayStation Store and. Wow. That's a lot of work. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot yeah. of stuff. But that's a lot of that's a lot but of yes. options for us. Yeah. Which is cool. Right. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Success, yeah. e shop swap, parts one and two. I love it. Done. Yeah. Check. Good. All right, so let's move on. Yes? Okay. To news, news, news? No, we're on to what we've been playing. Oh, okay. I was It's right there. Confused. The page is right in front of your face. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what we've been playing. Well, All right. Well, you've been playing nothing but Elden Ring. Is that the deal? Elden Ring. Yeah. Yes. So we decided last week, or like, yeah, we just decided last week, yeah. that our next. Um, like gameplay video was going to be Elden Ring. Yeah. And because you said you wanted to observe me playing, which I made, really do, which made me really nervous, like immediately made me nervous. It's a, it's a very like scientific interest. I just like, I just want to see what you're, I'm not trying to like rate it or like critique it. It's like, I just want to see it. Why? It's interesting to me. Oh, I think it's interesting. Is it, it because you is. think I'm weird? No. Okay. Um, so to prepare for this, yeah. So okay, the the thing is, is that like we were we were talking about this, like what should you do? How is your face going to be involved? Blah blah blah. And like <laughs> we were like, well, it has to be like some boss that I need to try yeah. to beat within a certain number of tries, right. right? Right. So I I did finally get through that godforsaken castle, <coughs> which a castle, <laughs> well. <laughs> but I got, I did it though. Oh my god! I did yeah. It. I made it to that little cell with the Whoa. save point and I was like there's some here uh, it was you should have I mean it was bad I wish I, I could like have seen it screaming at this yeah. nonsense at the screen and like rage quit anyways oh, no. I cannot stand those birds um those birds are terrible I hate them yeah so much they're the sometimes the fire breathing birds too they get worse like wow you found a way to make this terrible enemy even more terrible <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> really the most... I can't hit it! I'm like, <laughs> say the sword! Well, that's what a bird does. It oh, flies away. And then it's like, it's got his legs all in your face. It's like sword legs. Flapping um, everywhere. Flapping everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you try to run away from it. That doesn't work. <laughs> Fall off a cliff. Anyways, um, so I get, I get to the boss and I'm like, okay, let me just like test this out for yeah. a sec and see how this goes. And if... I'm sure I can't beat it mm -hmm. because... That's a scary boss. And then I can probably just do this boss um, yeah. for this video. So I go in there, you know, I do all the things, whatever. And like, it's awful. <laughs> and clearly I am not able to, I'm not able to do yeah. this at all. I didn't get him to a second phase, which I was okay. like pretty proud of myself. Yeah. But once there, I was like, yeah, no. Um, yeah. So I was like, okay, I will spend the remainder of the week leading up to the filming day today yeah. to like prepare myself. What did you boss. do to prepare? So I ended up like going back to this other area, the Weeping Peninsula, which I hadn't explored yeah. too much yet. I basically killed two more bosses. I got more, I got some items to make my like flask. Oh yeah. You know yeah. how you could do that flask right. thing? One, right. of the, one of the items that this, this um, is like one of the tree guardians yeah. for one of the minor herd mm -hmm. trees right. or whatever it's right. called. Um, he drops a tear that is like, it, the description says, significantly reduces damage. Oh. Significantly. I'd like that. Significantly. Okay. Okay? Wow. So I mixed that with some health bonus, and now I have that flask. So that was number one. Yeah. I Hold on. Does this happen to you when you go into the menu and it's like, increase 
like flask size. I was like, yeah, I'd like to do that. You don't have enough. Oh, <laughs> like, come on. That was the other thing is I went around and found a bunch more of those sacred tears yeah. to like increase the, like the, what is it? Like the potency of right, whatever, right. of the flasks. So I did that. But if I can't do it, don't put that on the menu. Oh, I know. I, that's that's the, point. the thing. Like, in, like, do you want to You want to do like, this, don't you? Charge yeah, this? I do. Well, like, you can't. Yeah, uh. yes. You don't have enough golden seeds. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> what a tease. Um, I, I found this weird, like, crystal mine that oh. has literally a million smithing stones in there. So if anyone's Oh, looking, I think I've heard about this, but I haven't been there. I found it on accident. I did not look at a guide. I was of just, course. like, stumbled yeah. upon it. Wow. And I basically just like load it up on like yeah. a million of those. And I went in like plus four to like, I think I'm almost at oh. plus five to Whoa. both my weapons. I'm like dual wielding like a maniac. Right you have the, the really the great swords? I have the great yeah. sword. And okay. I have the, the other one is that something that stupid bird dropped. Oh, it's I fast. didn't get that. That's cool. Um, I also, so when I first went in to fight that boss, I couldn't summon the NPC. Um, and I did look this up. I, I realized that there's a tiny room in a castle where you can talk to an NPC. And then after you do the dialogue, then it unlocks the NPC that you can summon. See, I found that person along the way and spoke to her and there was nothing. So I don't, I, I, I don't know what the deal is. I, um, you have to exhaust her dialogue. Oh, I exhausted it. Oh, I, I was it able was to It was fully summon. exhausted. Anyhow. I was able to summon it. So okay. that was good. So I'm ready. I'm ready right. today. I'm ready. All right. I'm great. going back in there. Protect my face. Your face? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm worried. I got your face. It's my face. I've only got, got one of these. I got the face. Get your hand away from me. It's going to be all right. Claw at me or something. <laughs> all right. Um, so, yeah. Well, it's a I lot did, of buildup for. I did a lot of exploration. Better deliver it was so on fun, this. honestly. Like, I, I was like, this is, I feel like I'm, make, I'm making progress. Yeah. I'm like building my character up. Oh, and when I was in that area, I saw that big guy with the, the bell. The guy in the top. Oh, those. What the heck yes. is that thing? I found, I have, I, so I had to look that up because I, they wouldn't attack you, but no. they're just kind of stomping around. Yes. Do you want me to tell you? No. All right, I won't. Okay. But you need to do something to them, and you can get inside those little structures on their back. Okay, those is there something with their things. legs? Well, you didn't want to know, so There's don't like ask me. There's barnacles on the legs, and you have to, like, knock it Maybe off? Maybe you should try that. I feel like that's what I need to do. Okay. I'm doing this motion because okay, I'm knocking do it. off the barnacles. Do it! The bell is the bell it's is loud. a little crazy, yeah, though. It yeah. makes me, like, it's, loud. it's, like, too much. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. All right. So you! I, so I was also trapped in the castle for a good while, but I got out. I got to, so this is the you same boss. This was the same boss. His name is uh, Godric. The grifted. The grafted. grafted. Not Because he's got arms grafted that on it's disgusting. That guy is disgusting. It's disgusting. And that second phase, no. Yeah, so I was in real shaky Skip. shape when I got through that castle, just like you. You were like I didn't know where. I didn't, know, I didn't know where to go. I got very turned around. The way it works is like, you kind of circle back on places a number of times. Into Back into the castle? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, anyhow, I'm through the castle. Don't judge me. I don't want to go back to the no, castle. No, you don't have to. You're done. No, I'm talking about getting to the boss. The way, the path oh. you go. Oh, God, okay. Calm down. Calm down. I can't go back to that castle. So I was like, all right, um, you know, let's just try this boss out and I'll get my butt kicked and <laughs> I'll figure it out later. So yeah, I did yeah. it once. I got him about halfway down. I was like, oh, okay. Okay. It felt a lot like the last boss, Margit. That we fought just a, you know, a big dude with big weapons. Yeah, reach, um, a lot And of I did reach. it again, and I did about the same. I was like, all right, I got to figure out what to do here because I could summon one of my... Um, Use a finger? Ashes. No. Is that, what, oh. It? The summon. My jellyfish. Oh, the jellyfish. Yes. Yeah. But unlike the first boss, you could not summon the NPC person. So I was like, oh, I really relied on that NPC but, yeah. to get me over the edge. So... I was like, I, I, I was like, gosh, I don't want to spend, you know, hours and hours and hours banging my head against this wall. I'd really like to be out of this castle. Yeah. So I was you like, were like gonna, desperate at this I'm point. I'm going to delve into this co-op summoning part of the game, which I had not even yeah. thought about before. I was like, I have no clue how this works. Yes, the furled finger. So I was like, fine. And I read up how to do it. Boom. All right. And then there's this kind of all these little pools on the ground and yeah. you can sort of see the person. Yeah. And you got to move fast because somebody else might grab him first. So yeah. I found I found this crazy night guy who looked powerful. And I was like, hey, come with me. So he shows up. Okay. We go in there. And I kind of, you know, this guy immediately is like beeline for this boss. Like, all right, this guy is. He knows what he's this doing. This guy's going for it. So okay. I got him. I got the jellyfish. We're all just going for it. Okay. And it was actually a cakewalk. 
it was like you guys no, cheese that boss or what? Well, that guy really helped me. So he just like <laughs> got his like aggro and yeah, then I would I would hit him in the back and the jellyfish is just spitting on him. Yeah. Um. So the jellyfish is my favorite one now. I used to like those wolves, oh, but now I, I love like the I like the um the two night guys that you can summon. Oh, I don't have that one. I forget what the I forget their name. I have the skeleton. It's kind of like two skeleton. pretty strong knights. Oh. Um so that was my third try. I felt I was like, wow, this is perfect. Wow. I, I did not want to get hung up on this boss. Third try. Oh, man. I'm moving on. Thank goodness. So then I was in this whole new area, which um is so massive. Like I really needed like a come down after the castle. <laughs> You're like over it. So I was like, I'm just gonna go and explore this place. And I was doing that for the last several days. I was like, oh. this this takes this is very north leading. And I'm like, I'm just okay. I'm just gonna go north and we'll see what I come across. Do you get a map? Um, well, you need to find it, of course. And did you find it though? I found part of it. Okay. There's another part of it that I don't have. So okay. kind of there's one part of it that's like this really big swamp, which I went into and I got scared and I ran out. And you poisoned. And, and stuff? then there's kind of this like mountainous ridge line that kind of goes along it okay. it's pretty it's fairly narrow so i've been going along that the whole way mm -hmm. i finally reached the end which is this kind of big um elevator type thing but it's like you need these two relics to make it work so it's like all right well i finally know what my next so you gotta find I think, the relics i think well, it's very questy now, it seems important it yeah but this this area is really photogenic i mean it looks a lot like the lord of the rings movies where you've got oh. these like ruined statues and you've got these like cool. alabaster towers that are like going up from the top of a hill oh. and these things that are carved into the mountainside. I'm always amazed at how beautiful. Yeah. Sometimes you're like when you're running away for dear life right. you like stop and you're like oh wow yeah. this is amazing. Like, yeah. so beautiful. Like that first area you're in is definitely like the dark gothic fantasy look yeah. where it's like alright there's this huge castle there's up there there's a lot there, of churches it's ominous. Yeah. like that kind of deal. Yeah and this Diablo. definitely has a very different Oh. Feel to it, I thought. I mean, yeah. there's still, you know, gross, gnarly stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. And I, I came across this other thing, and this is just like a good example of how you can have these little mini adventures in the game. There was like a little, like, t little castle turret that was just kind of there by itself, not even that big. And this is not a spoiler mm -hmm. at all, because this is just some random thing I came across, where there were these people, like, summoning this giant fireball on top. Okay. And if you got too close to the fireball, which looked a lot like Sauron's eye from Lord of the Rings, okay. but if but if you got too close to the fireball, you, you would like take you would take this like madness. You would get a madness oh, meter. That happened to me with another with the rats. rats yes. So there's rats everywhere rats. here. Big rats. I don't like those um, rats. They're and disgusting. if and if the the meter got full, you would take like huge damage and you might die. So you kind of had to hide behind a rock as you were going up. Oh. And it was like these like six druid looking people so who are get rid of them? periodically summoning this giant fireball so if you finally took them out then they would stop doing that so i was just like wow i'd never seen anything like that before right. and that was just kind of a good little like 20 minute like what am i gonna do here what's going on here yeah. i want to check this out little thing the other thing that is pretty cool that i stumbled upon too is sometimes when you open the treasure chest it's like this is actually a trap it like, it's like poison it, comes it, out yeah, yeah. It portals you to like a completely oh, that. different place yeah, those are scary I was like, where am I? Yeah. I went somewhere where it was some scary stuff. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't yeah. like this. A lot of times that doesn't go well. But there is like messages. It's like, this is a trap. This is a trap. This is a trap. So you kind of know, like, don't yeah. go I usually, there. I usually nope out of those when that happens. Because it's like, oh, I really shouldn't be here. No, exactly. Yeah. So there's a lot of those like weird little side discovery right, moments right. that you can stumble upon, which is very, very interesting yeah, and yeah. really fun. But the thing I'm wondering now is like, so I think I read that, you know, the castle is one of these legacy dungeons. I think I've heard that there's, like, a number of those. I'm like, mm -hmm. well, I'm 30 hours in and I've done one of these? Yeah. When am I going to get to the what other ones? What level are you? I'm, like, 40, like, oh. high 40s. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. that's, you're really high level. Oh, my gosh. No, I don't think so. I'm, like, I'm not even close to, I think I'm, like, 36. While I'm out there, I'm doing stuff. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. So I have, like... I, I'm imagining once I go up that big giant elevator, there's got to be Something. one of those. I got to be getting close. I don't know, but Not I feel another... like I need to proper. I need to go back into that swamp. I can't do the another yeah. castle. I can't. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, that really took a lot out of me. I don't know if I can do I it. We'll I don't see. know if I can do another. Luxury Maybe it'll be dungeon. easier. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be harder. That's where the game becomes easy. It's gonna become harder. The second crazy. It's gonna be dungeon. like birds with two swords for two legs. <laughs> 
Source for wings. You gotta fish through. Anyhow, okay. uh, you the played other, I played F-Zero. one other thing, F-Zero X, oh my which gosh. was a new addition. Why are you saying, oh my gosh? Because I'm wondering how you felt about it. I wanna know. Why? So know. It's a new addition to um, Nintendo Switch Online, if yes. you're in that tier that gets Nintendo 64. Mm -hmm. So this is um, a game that I had played. I didn't own it. I played it a couple times. I had a friend who had this growing up. Um, mm -hmm. So I vaguely knew about it, okay. but not a lot of um, experience with it. It's really good. Um, kind of the idea with this game is the graphics are you know proper 3D, like a lot of N64 oh, games, okay. but super simplistic because the game goes super fast, fast runs yeah. super smooth, and there's 30, you're, there's 30 people racing. So oh. it's like a jam-packed thing. And a lot of the, the tracks kind of, you can kind of see maybe they took inspiration for like some of the Mario Kart 8 anti-gravity stuff because okay. there's some parts where it's like you're just on a pipe and you can go all, all the way around. around the pipe. Yeah. But if you take too sharp a turn off the pipe, you're gonna you're fall gonna off. Fall. Okay, so it's yeah. like you have like a little bit of a gravitational pull. Right. Right, okay. right. And, so what do you think? What was and it you can like be very back? aggressive um, in your driving. Like you can bump into guys or you can do like a spin move and try and knock them off. Oh. I had played more of the GameCube F-Zero game, F-Zero yeah. GX, I which, I, I which kind of going back to this now, I was like, oh, they really built upon F-Zero X for the to go game. into the GameCube yeah. game. So I really like it. You know, the one thing that, and this is for all of the NSO games, like, I, tell you, I remember, like, oh, there's going to be online in this game. That'll be awesome. I'd like to try that. And then I went in there. I was like, oh, you can only do it with your friends. Yeah. It's not with everybody. Everybody. Yeah. I was like, why? why is it like that? Just let me play this game online. I don't know. Are you going to play F-Zero? No. I'm not going to play F-Zero because I don't want to. Well, I mean, I could play with you. I don't really want to, actually. <laughs> I think as far as, like, <laughs> you know, some of those NSO games, like, there's some that are kind of like interesting historical pieces that yeah. maybe are not as fun as they were then. I think this one holds up really well though. Okay. Yeah. I feel like once you get into the- Captain NC Falcon, he's in it. He's gonna kick you. Oh, there's a big, there's a lot of ships. Um, oh, okay. That you can unlock, it's more than just the usual F-Zero Oh, well, that's kinda group. cool. Why is Captain Falcon such a maniac? <clears throat> he's really crazy. He is. When you really think of him, he's just like vibrating, he's like, show me your moves. <laughs> Why is he he's like very that? intense. Gonna, Why are you like that, Captain Falcon? He's going to kick you with his big boot. He's going to Falcon punch me right off this tube. Oh, no. It's not going to be good. No. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, if you guys are, <laughs> I don't know. What? NSO you seem down. Are you out on F-Zero? What's your, you seem down on this. I'm never really. This is like, I'm gonna, someone's going to come at me. Okay. Not like a super fan of F-Zero. All right. It's not my favorite kind of racing game. It's fine. No offense. All right. It's not my Chocobo favorite. racing? Is that your thing? I don't. I don't n dislike Chocobo Racing. Oh, okay. Good. Don't dislike it. Uh, all, right. all right. Finally. Now we'll get, we're You've on been to news, news, news. News, news, Do it. Da, 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 Thank da, 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 da. Am I locked into this forever now? Yep. For my, the whole life? My whole life? Your little ditty. My little jingle? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, uh, on with, we start with sort of a downer <laughs> thing here. Is, yeah. Nintendo delays Advance Wars reboot, citing mm -hmm. recent world events. We yeah. can just read the tweet. That oh, went tweet. out on March 9th. In light of. In light of recent events, we have made the decision to delay Advance Wars mm -hmm. 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp, which was originally scheduled to release on Nintendo Switch on April mm -hmm. 8th. Please stay tuned for updates on a new release date. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Very uh, bad situation around this game. Yeah. And just, the world events, obviously, influencing yeah. sure. um, what's happening here. I, I don't know what else you could do. You kind of have to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the decision. Um, that is what it is, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, I think, you know, Nintendo has a very careful eye with this sort of thing. It's like, is this, gonna, is this gonna stop Call of Duty from coming out? It's like, well, there might not be a, is this gonna stop, you know, some big, you know, Call of Duty-ish game from coming yeah. out? Probably not. In, in, the, in the scope of yeah. games that are maybe insensitive, Yeah. Advanced Wars to, might not be on the top of that list, right? But certainly, but it is the of that yeah, genre. Yeah. The way so. the company just looks at things is so different and mm -hmm. so careful about being insensitive, which I really yeah. appreciate. I think appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. So I have no problem with this. I think mm -hmm. it's good. You, know, you do have to wonder, like, well, what, when, when might it be okay to come out? Yeah. Because this, this doesn't seem to be something in a that's situation now wrapping up the, anytime soon. I yeah. don't know. So yeah, yeah, yeah I don't yeah, know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a tough. It's a tough call for sure. <sighs> 
we can all wait a little bit longer. Yes. Yes, yes we can. Yes, we can. Uh, there was also a yeah, state, state of play. Of play. Kind of a weird state <clears throat> of play, in my opinion. They're all a little... They never quite nail what makes a Nintendo Direct so good. Yeah, I think for this one, for me... I don't know why, but it just felt like I was watching the same game, like, over and oh, over. Oh, yeah. I think the variety wasn't there. Nintendo Direct is always good about, like, here's some AAA games, yeah. here's some indie games, right, here's, right. like, a that hot yeah. third-party sizzle yeah. that we all well, I mean, like. <laughs> you know, if you, like, back up, you think, like, well, you can do one approach and be like, well, we're going to do one of these in March, and we'll see what we have then. Right. Or you can say, well, we have this big thing that we need to support, you know, on day mm -hmm. X and we'll kind of build around that. Yeah. And I, this felt this felt like maybe they were just like we need to do something in March. So, what Let's can we just get? Jam all the things that yeah. we had. Yeah. There in wasn't there. really a single like a tent pole thing. Yeah. It was like, "Oh, wow." A I'm, big one that everyone's looking forward to yeah. updates on. I think these also haven't really reached the Nintendo Direct point where you know, the Nintendo Direct zone is like you there could be anything in here. Like yeah. You could announce the next Zelda game, the next Mario game. It's like yeah, in the middle. That's why the reactions yeah. are so yeah. crazy, Yeah, right? whereas I yeah. think PlayStation and, and Xbox 2 are still waiting around the traditional, like, you know, E3 timing. It's mm -hmm. like, well, that's when we do the big guns yeah. coming yeah. out. So, yeah. But what, what, what about, the, I mean, anything look interesting to you here? Um, you know, I did say that we need more games with dinosaurs recently, I think. Yes. And now there's this, I don't know about this game at all. Exo Primal. Exo Primal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do like dinosaurs a lot, so. It did have a Triceratops, it which did is my favorite a, dinosaur. It did have a lot of pretty cool dinosaurs in it. But there, I really think there is not, besides like, I guess Monster Hunter's not really a dinosaur, but like, there's not a lot of like dinosaur, true no. dinosaur. It's a missed opportunity. Games. Remember when yeah. Knockout City came out? I was like, gosh, why aren't there more dodgeball Do games? Dodgeball games. We need more dinosaur games. We need, People we need, love we need dinosaurs. a dodgeball dinosaur game. Whoa. You are a dinosaur and you play dodgeball. I don't know if I'd that would be fun. That, actually. So that one looked pretty interesting. I mean, at least it was a little bit different. That looked very like arcadey to me, where I was like, I don't know if there's a lot of depth to this game because it was just like. But it could be fun though. You're, you're just get, a dinosaur and you're just like. You're not a dinosaur. You're, you're, you're in this. Just, Beating a suit and dinosaurs. you're just like <laughs> blasting dinosaurs. Could be fun. All right. You were, you were a big Teenage Ninja, oh, uh, Ninja yes. Turtles fan. I really was. But but you had a you you were confused as to why. Well, it wasn't intended. So first of all, so this is <laughs> called the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cowabunga Cal Collection. Cowabunga Collection. Great name. Yeah. Um, coming this year, I'm very excited about this. Yeah. This is kind of the older, kind of retro-ish Ninja Turtles games, which a lot of them are, are really good. And hard to find. Um, so. that, that's the other thing is, you know, you don't see these games coming out very often, right. so it's nice to just have now this. You, this is, again, the one that's like, you take away the 3DS, e, whatever, yeah. eShop, and yeah. these things are gone, right. you know? Right. Like, so. I think it's like, I'm, I, I'm not eager to play through the original Ninja Turtles NES game because that game is like punishingly hard and there's that but terrible you underwater. Part of the Ninja Turtles club. I was in a Ninja Turtles club growing up. I was Raphael. I you made you made your scythe. I made a PVC pipe scythe. Scythe. No scythe. S A I. I it's different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the Grim Reaper. I'm a cool turtle with a red bandana. <laughs> um, then the, the Ninja Turtles arcade game is one of those like formative games for me. Yeah. Where it's like I can remember the moment and where I was when, when I played it. played it. At this like pizza parlor at this it's like It's got to be the bird. Pizza Hut birthday party. It pizza was a round hut. table we all had round it. table pizza. Yes. Yeah, that's good times. That, that that round table pizza is still there. Sometimes really? I drive by and I'm Let's like, that's go. the one. Let's see if the Ninja Turtle it's arcade not. is there. It's going to be a bummer. Why are we? We don't know. Right. You still live here. Right. Maybe let's we'll look, make a let's... pilgrimage. I actually have been craving round table pizza recently. Really? Like, I really want that, like, personal pan pizza. I think we should go. I think round table pizza is, like, very regional. I don't think people outside of California <gasps> really know. Let us know in the comments. Do you know oh, round table pizza? Then we food? have to go. Not from California. It's now I really good. want That was to. my go-to pizza growing up. Me but anyhow, too. We've gotten too, we've gotten too really far from this. really distracted by this Ninja Turtle. So... It's like why? But why did PlayStation announce this? Like yeah. half these games were never on. This existed before PlayStation was even was a thing. Even a thing. It's like, yeah, I guess yeah, it's totally. fine. But it's fine. like they did something else where it was like, oh, congratulations or happy anniversary to the original Contra, which was an NES game. I was like, why, are you PlayStation? Why are you doing this? Join the conversation. Engagement. <laughs> Drive engagement. <laughs> I don't. Know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not like super mad about this. But it's just like. Eh. 
Someone's gonna bring. This is where I know. This is where I know too much. Okay. And these games are on every platform, which is great, and and it's good for people to play them. But it's like there are certain platforms that they're associated with. Right. Right. Okay. That was it for me. After that, though. Kind of Returnal is one of those games that we're always like, should we play this? I keep asking you, like, every yeah. month, I'm like, should I play Returnal? And you're like, it's too hard for you. And then, like, a month later, I'm well, like, should that, I play Returnal? And you're like, it's you. too hard for you. That is not and what I no said. there's no easy mode. I said, That's what you said to me. it could be frustrating. And for myself as well. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not like that. How dare you? You're playing Elden Ring and you're doing great. Come on now. We'll see. You're going to give me that yeah. encouragement for your face. That's one of those games where it's like, oh, those, please, those PS5 games are $70. Like, that's a lot, that's a lot to for a game for that I to... I might really, like, not like. Yeah. What if you try, like, one hour and it's, like, too Yeah, too and I'm just hard, like, no. Too frustrating. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. But the co-op. Maybe we should try the co-op. <laughs> that's not going to make it better. The Tower of it's gonna Sisyphus. It's going to make it. That's a, that, that name that alone. Sounds I was like, awful, I don't want that. I Pushing not, a rock up yeah. the thing. Two of us? I no, do not want to do the Tower of Sisyphus. This is like a, no, thank you. Takes two all over again. I'm like, nope. Oh, <laughs> I did see, this is not on here, but I did see that, is it just yesterday, that PlayStation announced a like title direct type thing for that Harry Potter game? Huh? Oh. So like, you know how we do like, Nintendo yeah. used to do those title directs sure. for specific, like bigger games. So apparently they, they're doing a, oh, I missed it's that. like that Harry Potter like MMO kind of thing. I'm All doing right. like a title direct for that. Okay. A Hogwarts game. Not interested. Oh, that's right. You don't like it. <clears throat> I'm not into Potter. All right. Yeah. Um, this was interesting. Square Enix launches its own YouTube music channel. Mm-hmm. More than 5,000 of the publisher's tracks are now available for YouTube music that's cool. users to listen to. Did you check this out? I did. I think it's awesome. I had to. I was like, what is YouTube music? Because that's not... A, I think you and I use Apple Music. I was mm-hmm. like, this is... There is if you if you're just on YouTube, there is this YouTube this channel, but this channel. is yeah. this is like a separate music focused service right. through YouTube. Right. So right. it is not the same thing. No. Right. Yeah. I don't I don't listen to it too often, but it's interesting that they did it on YouTube and not Yeah, I wonder Apple how they chose that. Or Spotify that. Yeah. or whatever. Um, but you know like music is always one of those things that's like this hot button topic that like people are like we got to take the music down, yeah. and you don't have rights to this music, and yeah. blah, blah, blah. The legalities blah. around music around the world, I can't... I don't understand I'm it. Not a lo- I'm not a global, like, music lawyer. It's like, that's really who we need to have on to answer these questions. I of, like, know. How come, some, how come some companies do it? How come some companies don't? Obviously, there's huge interest in Nintendo's music, which yeah. is still not available not in any available. official capacity. Yeah. I couldn't tell you why, because, again, I am not a global yeah. music if lawyer. On, if you go on um, TikTok, you can get yeah. the Wii Music it Trap version, which is perfect <laughs> for us. I've had it explained to me a few times. I did not understand it I know. at all. Yeah. I'm like, all right, well, there's... There's a reason. Yeah, music Fine. rights always confuses me. <coughs> yeah. Good on good on Square Enix for at but least they, putting the music on. They're just normal YouTube channel for this. They did have some interesting things. It was like, oh, here's two hours of you know one of those like mu- chill chill play I like mixes. That. Lo-fi music to study. Too. Yeah. I like those. I thought those were neat. I was, and that was not what I had expected. Like they they definitely put a little more effort. Yeah, into Yeah, and it's those. just like the little animation. Yeah. And loop. Yeah. Just, than just dumping yeah. the songs. Right. Exactly. Which there. there which they could have done. It would have been fine. It would have been fine. People probably just listen to audio. Oh, no, only yeah. anyway. But yeah, yeah. I listen to the YouTube, like sometimes, like the, the chill two hours of like yeah. rain, right. rain sounds <laughs> to fall asleep. White noise. White noise. Yeah. I listen to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. On to so that's it for the news. Yes. Uh, but we're on to questions from questions. the community. Yeah. Yet again, another week where we just got. Great so question many. after great question. Yeah, thank you so much, Patreon folks, for all your great questions. We yeah. love to to get these from you, to hear from you, so just like keep them coming. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right. Question uh, the first from Brooke Obscura. Yes. I love that name, by the way. Uh, given your previous access to privileged information and working with embargoes, have you let something slip on accident? Oh man, I am happy to say no. Mm. I have never let anything slip. On accident. That's a big part of the job. That is the scariest yeah. part of the job. Is juggling, like, knowing, like, well, what have we announced or what have we not and not getting those <laughs> mixed up. Especially when you have access to all of the social media channels. Oh. You don't want to, you don't want to accidentally, like, yeah. tweet something. You got to know. There has been some people, there has been one person, I will not name this person, that did accidentally send um, something E3 related mm-hmm. to um, an editor. 
Oh, geez. They were like doing like a um, group email, and this person must have had the same name as somebody oh, yeah. else in the you, company. You go so halfway like, and you hit tab. Like, it's yep. like Daniel at Nintendo.com yeah, yeah. or like Daniel at right. WashingtonPost.com. Right. Like some situation <laughs> oh, like gosh. that. Ugh. And uh, Just get a pit in your stomach even thinking about that. It's pretty bad. But but the, the good, the really good thing too is that I think all of us, we have pretty good relationships yeah. with people. So if you did this, this person did this, he emailed that person right away and said, yeah. hey, please delete this email. Right, I did right. not need to send this to you. Yeah. And of course, the editor was very nice. And very nice. So it wasn't that bad, but like you can, you can My imagine. Heart is pounding even hearing this story. It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Have you done? No. I, I did. I did have a mistake pretty early on. You did? Yeah. So I. It was around um, Zelda Spirit Tracks, the DS game. Okay. And I was doing an interview with I think it was G four, and I totally like said something completely wrong about what you could do in the game. You know that game's like you're making the train the tracks? train tracks, yeah. I think I said like, oh, you can lay those tracks freely throughout the environment, which is totally not true. <laughs> it was definitely like on a set path. And then like... I, I, <laughs> I don't I, remember this at all. I learned about that after the fact. And strangely, I didn't really get in trouble for it. Nobody really like... That's a pretty big outlet. Even noticed, yeah. And I think I saw like some online coverage about it. And I was like... Am I going to get a slap on the wrist? Like, what's going yeah. on? And it kind of ended up being nothing. Oh, so. then that's good. I don't know. Yeah. And then you didn't leak any information. No, I said something that was wrong, they which is, I mean, it's almost as bad. Things. I mean, that yeah. I mean that would have been way cooler for that game if yeah. you could have. I always had a problem with launch dates. That I have a problem now with launch dates. Oh, yeah. I can never remember them. And sometimes you're like right. doing like some live interview or something yeah. like back in the day. Well, that's where you can get around. Just like, it's coming later this year. If, if you totally blank. Yeah. It's like, well, that's also true. Not yeah, as good as the yeah, actual Yeah, I know. Date. You're, but you're, you're like, as a spokesperson, yeah. you're supposed to tell them the right launch yeah. date. Or like around E3 when it's like, yeah. all right, now, we're, now we know all of the actual game titles. Oh my gosh. Like yeah. I still, even today, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. For some reason, my brain is like, the, the what? The Forbidden Land? The Forgotten World? Sometimes the titles are really world. long, too. Yeah. Really it just, long. It's like some colon plus yeah. like blah, 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 blah. Or it just gets into the zone yeah. where it just kind of like becomes word soup. And I'm like, yeah. what? what is it? Yeah. <laughs> the new Kirby title. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, Square Enix games always. It's like oh, well, Final there's... Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles. But they might be so ridiculous. Blah, blah, that you the can, king of the return of the thing. That you can too. easily remember it. Yeah. <sighs> So yeah, no, I, I I would have to write. Sometimes I write myself a little cheat sheet with launch date yeah. cheat sheet. Write it on the right, back right. of your hand. You like look down. Like, yeah. Oh, it says ABF. Nove that's, November twenty yeah. first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one though. All right, Mark, Mark Brazil. Brazil. Was there ever a game that you were asked to play mm. or talk about on Nintendo Minute that you actually didn't really like but had to pretend you did for the show? Yeah, we were pretty good about protecting ourselves. I got one. Ourself. I have <laughs> one too. Maybe it's the same one. I was going to just preface this by saying usually we would just like flat out refuse right. if we didn't like a game. We would just like not have it on the show. Yeah. But there was one game that I want to just say that I wanted to like, but then I really didn't. Well, the I one that I'm thinking of, you really strong armed me and I was just along for the ride. Which one? Snipper Clips? Um, I mean, uh, Box Boy. No, it was uh, Disney Art Academy, oh, Disney which Art is Academy. extremely not my jam. Because <laughs> A, not I really, really like a Disney fan. Game. B, cannot draw to save my I life. I really like Disney, and I love to draw. I really wanted you to play that game with me, but you didn't well, want to. Now you owe me one. Now I get years later. Years later, I have you your face fate in my hands. I continue, <laughs> oh, no. I continue to win at this game of oh, who no. owes who. I have one. I have one. Oh. This game, I just, I wanted to like so bad. Yeah. I really did. And I, I tried. I really tried to like it. But it, I didn't like what? it. What? It was um, Federation Force. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we did a great video. I really like the video that we did. Yeah. We played with Andre and Katie. Yeah. Um, and I, I love both of them. We had fun playing the game. Yeah. But, like, as I tried to, like, play the game afterwards, like, I was like, I'll just, like, yeah. continue to play this game. I was like, this isn't fun. Well, that's not a super controversial opinion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but we did have it on the show. Yeah. And I, but I, we also forced Katie and Andre yeah. to play yeah. with us. It is fun in like a multiplayer setting like that, but if you're just trying to play it on your own, like yeah. it's really not that, it's not that great. Yeah. <laughs> not there, that I mean, there were times where we were kind of 
if, if a game was, you know, not out yet, we would be seeing it for the first time. Yeah. So we're like, we think we're like this, but sometimes That's you don't exactly know. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, I yeah. think I didn't have enough, I didn't spend enough time with that game yeah. to like really know. Um, oh my gosh. I love this question. Um, do you guys play or well, The name. Oh, sorry. The name, jeez. Uh, Itionoben? Okay. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm sorry if I pronounced That's it wrong. That's what I'm letting you read it. Oh, okay. Uh, do you guys play or enjoy Monster Hunter? If yes, what are your favorite weapons and monsters? I'm a humble bowman and love the core hmm. Magala myself. Oh, nice. I need oh. to be hum- humble about it. Yeah, I'm sure you're a great bowman. Um, we love Monster Hunter and played a ton of Monster Hunter. You had a bit of a, a traumatic experience with a Rathalos. Th- this is what is it this a, is a Raytheon or a Rathalos? Rathalos. This is one of those series where I need to take breaks. It's in like your between Pokemon them. thing. You need to I take get like too a year into off. it, and it's just too all-consuming. Yeah, and I just need a break in between those games. Yeah, we're on a break now because yeah. we played um, the Switch one quite. Monster a bit. Hunter Rise. Yeah. I will probably not be playing the DLC for that game just because I, think I so am either. in the break. You're right now, I'm, enjo- right I'm enjoying now. the break. You didn't have a trauma moment though with Rise, no. which is great. I didn't. Like the the problem with what that happened with the was it the 3DS version that we were playing? Yeah. Um, was that you were farming Rathalos yeah. for a, a certain part, and which, it just never dropped. Which you really me. shouldn't do. Yeah, I learned that you, lesson. You like learned. got really fixated yeah. on getting this complete armor set, yeah. which I get, and you wanted it really bad. You were farming this Rathalos. We were playing together all the time. This part would drop for me like every single time, and it would never drop for Let's for move you. On. I don't want to talk about Aww. it anymore. <laughs> um, I am a dual blade. I love the dual blades. And I don't think I, it's just, just no other weapon that really like does it for me than yeah. the dual blades. I tried a couple other ones, but I just love, I love the dual yeah, blades what, so what, what weapon did I play in Rise? I can't even remember now. I'm hunting s- horn. Oh, it was the hunting horn. You yes. liked that a lot. I wiped my mind. So I played that. Wow. And then I liked, I liked the lance the also. Lance, I enjoyed yeah. the lance. Yeah. Remember the um, lance was the first time. Now you can do it with all sorts of weapons. You could do like the vaulting. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That was really fun with the lance. Oh, the hunting then, horn was cool, yeah. And you did the, you would like buff us. <clears throat> right, and, right, like, right. And play the nice song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some of the weapons are like so zany. Yeah. I think in I 20, 24 or 5, I'll be ready to play Monster Hunter again. Yes. <laughs> uh, Kiefer Jacobs. Yes. What is a franchise you like, love, that has changed over time, but you think was better, more enjoyable for you earlier in the franchise? Oh. Hmm. Nothing? Let me think about this. You go first. Well, this is not a franchise that is super active now, but, you know, there was a time... Castlevania, I love Mm -hmm. all the 2D Castlevanias, and they tried to make it 3D, and it just didn't work. They tried a number of times. When when the game was under Koji Igarashi, he had a number of games that were 3D. Mm -hmm. Then they moved it over to Mercury Street Steam, who did the Metro Metro games. games. And those games were very, like, cool-looking, high production value. I just didn't have a, a great time playing them. No vibe. Vibe yeah, was the, not the there. vibe was low not there. vibe high production. Not yeah, right. yeah. Is there one? Like totally can't think of one right now. Okay. Yeah. Pass. Pass. <clears throat> Captain Alex is back. I love you. Captain Have you Alex. seen the original Super Mario Brothers movie? And what are your thoughts on that and Chris Pratt Mario? <laughs> um So I actually have not seen the original movie. I think I watched the first 10 minutes and it was terrible. I had the good sense as a child to to shield yourself. No, I saw this and it would be in like Nintendo Power or I'd see like the commercial. I'd be like, this looks like it stinks. Yeah, And I really like Mario, so I'm not going to subject myself to this thing. I don't like the look of like real life (laughs) Mario and Luigi. It's really creepy and gross looking. (laughs) Like Mario needs to be like cartoon forever, I feel like. Don't try to make him into like a real... Person. Yeah. It just looks odd. Right. right. You know? Um, Chris Pratt Mario. Well, Chris Pratt is pretty much in everything, apparently. Maybe a little um, overexposed. I'm not a huge uh, Pratt fan. I'm not either. But I will give it the benefit. I want to hear what he's doing with his voice. Yeah. I, so here's the thing. I hope he doesn't fake like an Italian accent, though. That would be really so, awkward. I just want to see how far they go with this movie because, you know, um, the Pokemon movie, Detective Pikachu, mm-hmm. a great movie, but I wouldn't say they went all the way as far as they could with that. Whereas there was this kind of weird like plot okay. device of like, oh, this person is trapped in Pikachu's body, oh. so he's talking. So if that's why, oh, you think yeah, that it's you like, just really go, gets- Just go all the way. But Pikachu only says one word. And give me the proper Pokemon experience where it's like trainers and Pokemon and they're battling and say, like, I want that. Don't like, don't okay. halfway it. Because 
you just have to go for it. You know, that seems like a lot of times you're, you're translating one property into a movie. It's like, oh, we can't, we can't, it won't work. We can't go for it. It's like, no, you need to go for it. Okay. So don't give me this stuff of like, oh, you know, Mario's got the spirit of this guy and that's why he sounds like Chris Pratt. Like, I don't, I, oh. I would really be upset if they did that. It's going to be that, isn't it? They need to go for it. I need the proper, you know, Mushroom he, Kingdom he experience. He is Mario. Yes. He just is. Yes. I, t I completely understand why they didn't go Charles Martinet, though, because, I mean, the stuff he does is meant for short bursts. Yeah. I don't want, you know, two hours of, let's go! Yeah, that's going to be, like, yeah. really difficult to watch. But it sounds like, you know, they're going to use him kind of in bits, which probably for moments when he does that stuff. I think that's great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious. I have been waiting so long for this movie. Let's have it. Don't disappoint us, oh my gosh. Nintendo. Um, we do, do, do invite us to the premiere, though. We'll be there. Also invite us to the premiere. <laughs> 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 but also don't disappoint us. Yeah. Um, but Don, Rob, what is your least favorite Mario mm. game and least flav flavor highly favorite Zelda game? Highly Let the banter commence. Okay. You, let's, let's flip it. Do you know mine? I think you know mine. Your least flav flavored yes, favorite Mario game? And Zelda. <sighs> okay. Let me think. I think your least favorite Zelda game is Twilight Princess. Correct. Your least favorite Mario game is the one with the coins. Uh, New Super Mario Brothers 2? Yes. No. Okay, then it's I Super know. Mario Sunshine. Oh, that's right. Yeah, which you I, don't like I revisited. I played it again when Super Mario 3D All-Stars came out. I was <gasps> like, this is still not for me. <laughs> oh, no. I know it's got, kind of a, it's got a cult following. People will try to really hype that game up, but I just don't like it. Oh, wow. It just doesn't feel right. The whole setting, the flood. I just, you don't I just like it. do not like it. It's hard, too. It's really punishingly yeah, yeah. hard. The, the only, I'd say that is actually the only Mario game that I don't love. I you love the You all. don't like the island vibes? It's fine. I like the summer feel. It has a yeah. good. It has a good like. It's different than like. Yeah. Your Mushroom Kingdom experience. It's fine. But maybe that's what you want. That's the I best I'll say. Okay. What do you think mine is? Uh, Mario game. Jeez. See again, my perspective. I think they're all good. So I, I'm going to say it's Sunshine too. It's not. It's oh. it's New Super Mario Bros. too. Oh, I should have known. <laughs> that game is super generic. Uh, yeah. It's like it's like they didn't bother. Yeah, the new Super Mario stuff kind of treaded that line a little well, bit. Well, that was the only one that I felt like they kind of phoned it in. Mm. I felt you. Did you like you? I did like you because it yeah. had the rat the the acorns. <laughs> You were going to say rats. I said raccoon, but oh. I, I meant the flying squirrels, <laughs> yeah, which I thought yeah. was a cute mechanic. So they add, added something to that one. Yeah. But this one, I just felt like it was like, what am I here? Why am, Why does it feel like I've stepped back in time and not in a good way? Yeah. Yeah. It's it was, it was fun. The first one was cool. That was a good throwback. But the second one, I was like, you kind of took this a little too far. It's just, well, you just didn't do anything. <laughs> coins, though. Coins, coins, coins. Oh, my God. That coin. I hated the coins. All right. Um, so... You guessed my least favorite Zelda game. I did. Uh, you don't know me at all. I don't think we've talked about this. Um, you kind of, I feel like you might know. This is I, a controversial. I'm gonna, guess, I'm gonna guess two, two of them. Eat, hopefully I get one right. Majora's Mask, one? Yes. Oh, wow. That's actually not, that's extremely low tier for me too. I know that people are gonna come at us both Fine. for this, but that's my opinion. The reason why is because I dislike greatly countdowns. Me too. Any game that has a, a timer. Is there a question in here about, there yeah. was a question that I saw about well, like what game gimmick do yeah. you dislike? Timers. I'm gonna answer that question right now. <laughs> timers and countdowns. Okay. I dislike that. Yeah. I feel really anxious. Stressed out, yeah. I know the point of the game is to make you anxious, yeah. but I don't like it. It's not why I play games. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't play Zelda games I feel like for, I wanna explore, I wanna like take my time with these puzzles and all that stuff. Yeah. I just mm -hmm. really don't like the timer stuff. Yeah. Twilight Princess, I just felt, was, like, really not delivering on a lot of its promise. Like, oh, we've got this giant open world with nothing in it. We've got this pretty cool combat mechanic, but the, but the enemies are super easy. Like, oh, you can ride on Midna and not really do a lot besides jump around. I was like, oh, oh you didn't really pay off. It hurts me to hear you say that. cool ideas, but you didn't really pay it off. Also, we talked about this. I'm dumb at puzzles. Those dungeons are pretty big and complicated, and I, I, I really, like, had to use guides to get through those. It's one of my favorites, favorite Zelda games. All right. In the top, in the top five. Fine. So we really, di we really differ on this one. Yeah, I love that game. 
Sorry. I get it. I'm sorry. Uh, you mentioned that some devs, this is from Latch21, you mentioned that some devs don't move on embargoes. Was there any really difficult devs that wouldn't move at all on embargoes? So I'll say they they, they kind of fell into two camps mm -hmm. without mentioning anybody in particular. Mm -hmm. Like some, some of the teams were very open to like, all right, you take the lead, you know, give us your proposal and we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll react to that. And a lot yeah. of times like they were cool with it. Yeah. And then there were the other ones who would come into it with their own mind made up of right. like, these are the things that we must not reveal. Mm -hmm. These are the secrets, secrets we must preserve. And sometimes that was fine yeah. and we could live with that. But sometimes, you know, we had to have a conversation around, mm, you're kind of, you know, not letting people talk Enjoying about enough the of the extent. experience. Yeah. Um, yeah, there were a couple that I, I think just went too far of, like, you need to let these people talk about your game. something. Yeah. So when you, that's when you kind of ask yeah. the question. Fine, like, so fine you, for a preview, yeah, not for a not review. Not for a review. Like, do you want this game to sell? Yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> Check the box. Um, yeah, I, I agree. And I think um, in terms of embargoes, I think the devs, especially at Nintendo, my viewpoint is that what the the experience that the developers want to preserve for players is the element of surprise. Yes. That is something that's super, super, super important yeah. to Nintendo. And I agree. I think preserving that element of discovery when you play a game for the first time is really important as a player. So they, they I think they want to do that by controlling these embargoes. That That is the goal. But sometimes it does, like, prevent someone from like giving a fair review yeah. for the game. Yeah. So I understand the intention behind yeah. it, but it is like something that you have to have discussion on. Sometimes. We did what we could. We did what we could. Davidson Dolliver. I like this name. It's fun to say. Davidson Dolliver. Davidson Dolliver, Davidson Dolliver. Is his name actually Oliver Davidson? Uh, maybe this person <laughs> will let us know. I'll just put the one I had before. What's the deal with Mother oh. 3? It's this question. Well, We're first not of, Reggie. First of all, please ask Reggie. Please ask Reggie. Reggie's Reggie there. actually, he, he answered the question <laughs> he had recently. That, yeah. So read his tweet. Right, there's just the kidding. answer. Here's the answer. Um, Johnson Allen. What are your thoughts on Mario 64 DS? I have a, spot, a soft spot for this game, but going back to it is hard because of oh, the lack of analog yeah. controls. Okay, so I have some thoughts on this. Oh. It's because I never had a N64, oh. I had played Mario 64 for the first time on DS. Oh, interesting. But I was bad at it because yeah. it didn't have the analog controls. Now, the big question is, did you use the D-pad or did you use that weird little thumb nubbin thing? I tried to use the thumb nubbin yeah. and it was not great. Oh, gosh. My thumb, it was like an eraser. Yeah. It was like a pencil eraser. Obviously, I'm a purist with this game, so I was yeah. like, I gotta use the thumb nubbin, but and especially on the the DS yeah, fat, the fat. I just couldn't. Your hand could I was like, not I can't, like. I really like hurt myself. I think like. <laughs> this is like how we played um, Kid Icarus. Yeah. We, we like had like some weird like claw, claw situations, yeah. but we had on that stand. Yeah. Remember, we were like with touch screen. Um, um, the good news now is if you play it on a 3DS, you can just use that that stick. That's right. So, and so I, I never beat the game on DS, but I wanted to like see what the fuss yeah. is all about. But when the um, the anniversary collection yeah. came out, I finally beat Mario 64 for the first time. Oh, yeah. In yeah. whatever year that was, 2020. That was, so. that was probably my first exposure to those like, you know, virtual joysticks that became popular on like phone mm -hmm. games. Oh, that's right. That just, they just they never, just never worked never responsive right. enough. Yeah. 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 Uh, SBZ, there's an episode of Nintendo Minute where guests from Capcom as well as Nintendo employees played a tournament in Super uh, in Street Fighter 2. Everyone went around the rooms uh, and then got to Mysterious Trainer Mike. It was always the I'm Mike. That was it. What a funny and random as it was. I was very curious. What does Myst Mysterious Trainer Mike do at Nintendo? Understandable. If that info is on a need-to-know basis. Well, everything about Mysterious Trainer Mike is on a need-to-know basis. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but... But Mike is one of my closest friends, actually, and, and a supporter of this show. He is a Patreon family member. Incredible. So ask him yourself. No, just kidding. Um, but yes, he's one of our, our co-workers. I, you, we've worked with Mike for over 10 years. <laughs> Again. Big time Super Smash Brothers uh, expert, I expert. would even say. He is yeah. an amazing he's Smash player. Yeah. Um, he trained me in Super Smash Brothers because I was so bad at the game. That's why his name is Mysterious Trainer yeah. Mike. He might have donned a fake mustache to do that <laughs> maybe i'll put a clip in this video to like call him out but yes we had a lot of fun together all right this um, one i'm going to take because i, I this is a three-parter we're going to do part three can we get a tour of one of krista's fire emblem notebooks i have spreadsheets and long documents you organizing my fire emblem info so i can totally relate what happened to these somewhere in here now actually. now 
when we were cleaning out our offices, we had a debate because you had all these notebooks and you're like, should I keep these? Should I throw these away? And I was like, dump them. Lost your mind. You got to throw these away. I think it's actually in that. I don't see it in there. So you have it. It's probably in that oh, cabinet maybe right there. We can add it to the screen here or share it somewhere else. We'll maybe do that. Yeah. Embarrassed? You're no, not going to do it? Not at all. Oh, not at all. The um, pressure's on now. Your spreadsheet, though, sounds like way better. Maybe I should just do like a Google Doc. For this next time. I've seen these notebooks. They're very charming. They got little doodles, little hearts around Crom and uh, yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Like it's like blah blah is married to whoever and yeah. they have like wh whatever is happening and then you gotta gotta who's, who's map got the it time out. to do this first of all. Uh, apparently FC <laughs> does, so that's a spreadsheet, it's different. I'm gonna make a spreadsheet next time. That's a good Kaylin, idea. Kaylin, do you have any video game tropes and trends of this question that you love or hate? Oh, there we go. Yeah, For that's instance, what I, I, I hate it when the big twist of the game is when the characters realize they're in a video oh. game. I don't know why, but it bugs me so much. It's kind of a cop out. Um, so I get why. So is that your answer, timers? My answer is definitely timers. I hate Fine. I hate countdowns. I don't like the surprise timer at the yeah. end of Metroid. No thanks. Oh yeah, you that escape in one minute, or, or it's gonna blow up. Because first of all, that boss took me like five days yeah. to beat, and then I was already like over it, and my hand was a claw, and then I had to like try to escape the stupid thing. <laughs> oh gosh, she's really mad. Mad. <laughs> uh, mine is I've mentioned this before. It happens mostly in RPGs where you're fighting a boss that you're actually not supposed to beat, oh, but yeah. you don't know that you don't know. until something triggers and it's like a cutscene. It's like, I'm like, huh, I'm like going crazy. Like, oh, I'm gonna use all my items. I gotta do, I gotta go for broke to try and beat yeah, this boss. It's like, oh, buddy, you, beat this you boss. actually can't, don't bother. Elden Ring. I bet you could probably, you probably could beat that boss. There was, the um, there was a thing that I watched. It was like, yeah. what happens if you accidentally beat that first oh. boss? Like, there's some weird so trigger. Could? I yeah. think you can. See, yeah. that's cool if there's like some back end, like yeah. for experts, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. But in most cases, it's just like this weird trope Another to set up a Metroid cutscene. Another thing. I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. A lot of those Metroids ones we heard, um, you can get around those too. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You can get around it. RPGs. RPGs. Why? Yeah. Jennifer Clark. Hi guys. This question is for both of you. Have you either of you played Portal? Yes. Love Portal. Yes. One and two. Yes. Yes. Me yes. as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's another. That's a, that's another really fun game. That yes. that's coming to Switch. Will you be playing this again on Switch? I might check it out. Okay. I haven't played in a really long time. So. How do you think those um, cake jokes have held up over the years? Ooh, we'll see. <laughs> Could be cute still. Gladys. All right. Gladys still freaky and weird. I feel like that's a game that I'll probably buy but not play right away. Just like I'm just, oh, you just like to have it. I just want to sock it away for when the time is right. When the time, okay. I do. Right. You know, that was one of the first games, the first Portal, that was like. It's a very brief game. It's like yeah. just a couple hours. And that was when like, oh, games, you know, 40 hours. Yeah. It was like, oh, this is really refreshing. So I think it was very- Everything about it was refreshing. It was like right. totally different. It was short. It was like very focused on yeah. what it was, which is yeah. like these crazy puzzles. Right. But yeah, no, I love I love Portal. All right. Last question from Dispel, who I think had a question. I recognize the Rosalina icon here. Yes. If you could pick and design one Ooh. land, ride, or restaurant at Super Nintendo World, what would it be? Bonus points, give it a catchy name. Oh. Ooh. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. <laughs> okay, bonus, we need the bonus. Um, well, exciting that they announced that the uh, um, <sighs> Hollywood. File that also under finally, just like the movie. Yeah, finally. <laughs> and also we want free passes. Yeah. Please give it to us. And don't disappoint Day us. Day one. We have a lot of requests, but also <laughs> expectations. So get ready. Um, uh, but that's coming next year, which yeah. is very exciting. So let's see. Um, well, we were talking so much about Animal Crossing. It's got to be Animal Crossing. Oh. I would love to do like a real life Blathers coffee shop in oh. Super Nintendo World where like, it doesn't have to be like some costume. Did you say Blathers? I'm sorry. Oh, well now it's not gonna happen. Not Blathers. The what is wrong with me? Brewster. 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 That would be incredible. How yeah. awesome yeah. would that be? Like you could do Brewster's coffee shop and then have like little coffee, tr like desserts yeah. and stuff, like cute Animal Crossing fruit themed desserts. Mm. There's already a lot of food in the game too, so that would work really well. That would for, be pretty amazing. For that. Yeah. That's that's what I would that's what I would like and what I would do. Mine is so simple and basic. <laughs> there was an old game on the NES called Yoshi's Cookie. So I wanted to have Yoshi's Cookie Shop. Yoshi's Cookie. Yoshi's Cookie. Yeah. Okay. I um I'm not a, I like how we're both like food people. I'm not a theme park person at all. I know. All. I was gonna say you I'm, don't like I'm a little you're scared. concerned about going on these rides. I don't You're know. scared of roller coasters. I don't really like them. No. You're actually scared. So I don't know what's going to happen to you. My concern 
it's it's a safety thing. It's not like, oh, this is going to be scary. It's like, it's like, do I trust this thing to not, like, explode oh. when I'm on it? But See, if, I'm going to have to get over it, apparently. You're going to have to get over it. I love theme parks, and I love roller coasters. Right. I love, like, the scarier, the better, the faster, the do better. Do you hit the height requirement to ride this? Maybe. Do you? I think so. That's a, that's a safety thing. If you're not, you can't go if you don't. I'll just wear heels that day. <laughs> This is where I like fall out of the roller coaster and like die. I'm like, no, um, but you and I are definitely going to go. Please don't throw yeah. up on me because I would not enjoy that. Um, well, what if it, again? If it, the concern is about safety, how does that? I don't know. Result in that? You have nausea too. I feel like you have some interesting feelings about me. <laughs> <laughs> And my like have, health or whatever. I have distrust yeah. about being thrown up on. I don't want to. I don't want to be vomited. <laughs> well, on nobody anymore. wants that. <laughs> Come on. Man. Um, but yes, we're definitely going to that. So, so get you just steal your nerves. I'll take steal a them. take a Dramamine or something. Yeah, <laughs> take Dramamine. I'll wear the copper bracelet. Just have an <laughs> armful of copper bracelets. At least you're tall enough to go on the ride. I am. So yeah. you're good there. Um, but yes, very excited. But I would do a coffee shop. And I right. guess you're going to be Yoshi's Cookie. Pairs well with Yoshi's Cookie. Yoshi's you go from, from the coffee cookie. shop to the cookie shop. See? Why are you saying cookie shop? It's a fun like way that. to say it. All right. Well, that this is, is the, a show. Well, that's the end of the questions. Yes. Thank you for all the great questions. Again, yes. if you, we did not get to answer your questions, keep please asking it, keep please. asking it. There's a few that we were able to get to that this I've been week. seeing a couple times. Mm -hmm. And we're doing this all through Patreon. Yes, yes. So that's the place to ask. Yes. And then. You know, if you're curious, when we expand Patreon, questions are going to be a big part of it. So, oh, yeah. Tease, tease there for yeah. that. Um, don't forget to join our Patreon family if you haven't already. Yes. We're so excited to have all of you. We want to, again, really expand all these tiers and do more with the community. So, we're really looking forward to that. This um, is the time to get in. It really is. Yeah. Get in while the getting's good, right. is what they say, as they say. Uh, so, we'll put the link here. Here. Somewhere? Everywhere. Everywhere. Whoop, whoop, All the places. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, okay. And then, of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're watching this uh, on video, that is the channel you are on right now. Um, so give us a follow. Hit that notification bell. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys are thinking, what you guys are doing. What you, how do you guys feel about the show? We love reading your comments. We read every single one. And hopefully we're making positive changes to the show based on all of the great yeah. things you tell us. Um, and yeah, social media. We are on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. So don't forget to follow us there. It's all um, uh, slash Kit and Krista. So we did a fun thing recently where we were uh, posing like amiibo. Oh, those are fun. We did a three yes. part epic, three part series yeah. there. It started out strong for me and then oh. ended in some bad failures. So Go watch well, I if picked, you want. I picked some pretty tricky. Some of them are hard, and also I have, I have really bad eyesight, so I cannot, I like, can't see them. I'm I like, don't what understand. Is that what is that right. amiibo doing? I don't get this, but fine. Okay, but it's really fun, <laughs> and we're we're gonna be doing some fun things. Yeah. I think on all of those social channels. I think that's it. That's it. Did we do it? Did Another we make it to the end? Flawless show. Oh boy, we did, we did it. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.